Penelope, wake up! Come see for yourself! Odysseus, he's home at last! The gods have made you mad. Odysseus sailed through the cursed city. Now go, back to your quarters! No, he's here! As you please, I never mock you! He's the stranger that manhandled in the hall. So Marcus, he knew he was here for days and days, but he knew enough to hide his father's plan so he could pay those pipers back in kind. Penelope's heart burst in joy. She left in the bed, her eyes streaming in tears. She has the old nurse, Penelope. Please give me the whole story. Please tell me how they got those shameless suitors in his clutches. I have no idea. I didn't see it. I didn't ask at all. All I heard was the choking girls of men down in the blue. He's purifying the house and cleansing with cleansing fumes, and he's sitting here to bring you back to him. I'm just saying that he has right in his own house. Oh, hush, don't laugh, nor cry and try it. Not yet. You know how happy I will be if him and our son were together? Now we find decides to go downstairs with her heart in turmoil, contemplating if she should keep her distance or not. She saw him, but, but he didn't look the same. He was clothing red. Mother, how could you be so cold-hearted? You haven't seen your husband in such a long time, and does not greet him Loving way. <laughs> Penelope put Odysseus to a test. She told the maid to move the bed. Odysseus questioned her because the bed is built within the house. He passed. Penelope then gave Odysseus a bath and he looked exactly the same as before he left. Athena realizes it's her husband and holds him tightly. Then they go to lie in the bed and talk. Athena makes the night last longer. The night eventually has come to an end. Odysseus tells Penelope not to leave the house and why... No. Because he has to go away yet again.